Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing the last of the Bondi Sands Technicolor Self Tanners. It's the fourth and last one. This one is the Sapphire for a natural cool tone. It's another one hour express, so we are gonna be reading up all about this, see what it's supposed to do for me, and then we're gonna try it out, see how it compares to the other ones, I guess, in a way, since I've tried out all three of the other ones. So, it's gonna be lots of fun today, but before we get started, please give this video a big thumbs up for me and make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you love anything self-tanner or makeup related, then definitely make sure you're subscribed. But if you wanna see me review this self-tanner, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, so like I said, this is the last one in the group of four self tanners that came out in this line from Bondi Sands. I've reviewed all of them at this point. This one I saved for last because I'm not really a cool tone self tanner kind of person. So I don't like see myself grabbing for this one first. But of course I wanted to try all of them for you. So we're gonna see what it does. Maybe I'll end up loving it. But I absolutely am obsessed with the other three. Like even the emerald is more of an olive tone and I don't really reach for olivey tones too often. And I loved that one. So I have high hopes for this. I have a feeling it's gonna be just as good. I don't know about just as good as the caramel or the magenta cause those two like stole my heart. But. Feel like it's gonna be a really good one if it's anything like the other two before I read up on the details I do just want to reiterate like I did in the other videos since I have tried three of these self tanners at this point I already know how they wear uh, throughout the week everything like that and I can tell you guys very very confidently I am so impressed with just how beautifully these self tanners fade throughout the week like so comfortable to wear color with the other three has been absolutely beautiful so i have no doubt that i'm gonna love this one just as much but like i said it is a cool tone which i don't typically reach for so that is why this was last on my list also, side note, my bruises under my eyes are almost completely gone. If you're new here, if you don't know, I had a septo rhinoplasty and I have a whole video on that if you want to go watch. All the more reason to subscribe. But yeah, my bruises under my eyes are almost completely gone. I keep saying this, but now I mean it. Give it a few days and I feel like they're going to be completely gone. Like I say maybe two or three more days of this and then they'll be completely faded away so i cannot wait for that but it is what it is for right now so i have the self tanner pulled up on ulta that's where i got it it is again the bondi sands technicolor one hour express self tanning foam my phone is about to die and i swear to god you guys i feel like that happens every single time I come to film a self tanner video like it would not be a Thursday self tanner day if my phone was not on 3% so anyways <laughs> this is the sapphire for a natural cool tone it is a one hour express self tanning foam so this is an express self tanner I will be keeping it on overnight because I just love keeping self tanners on overnight and waking up to the darkest result I could get but I did mention to a subscriber that I'll be doing a video sometime in the near future, maybe like swatching all of these and some other Express Self Tanners to see just how dark they get in like a one, two, three plus hour span and just compare that way. Cause I feel like that would be a fun video. Let me know what you guys think, but I definitely think that would be a cool video idea. But anyways, back to this, there are four different ones. Like I said, there is caramel, emerald, magenta, and then this is sapphire. So you get four different choices of what undertone you want, which I think is really, really nice. It's 6.76 ounces, so the standard size, and it's $27. So I feel like that is such a good price for the product that you're getting. For how amazing the other three have been, it's a steal. So... It is vegan, it's cruelty free. It says experience the perfect tan every time with Bondi Sands Technicolor one hour express self tanning foam. Technicolor has been carefully curated through cutting edge research, development and laser skin analysis technology to deliver results that are perfectly matched to every skin tone. 
dermachromatic color technology formulated with low level tanning active ingredients and electrolyte hydration perfect for fairer skin tones looking to achieve a natural cooled cool toned tan so okay what i'm understanding is that this is not going to get me like super dark like for example the magento one i think that one was more meant for like dark er results this one seems like it's going to be a more kind of subtle natural kind of look so we're not going to set our expectations too high with how dark this is going to get it says sapphire color enhances enhancers to counteract orange tones i would hope so since it's a cool tone one hour express formula suitable for sensitive skin fragrance free and dermatologically tested that part is not true in my opinion it definitely has a smell to me it's a subtle smell it's not too bad. It is a little bit chemically. It smells like all the other Bondi Sands self tanners, but my fiance cannot stand the smell of these. <laughs> like he's not gonna like this once I put it on, but it's fine. It goes away, I feel like after a few minutes, or at least to me it does. And it's really not noticeable throughout the night. Like it does not bother me. So, but it does have a bit of a smell. And like I said, it's vegan and cruelty free. And then for the how to use, you would apply just like any other self tanner. And then woo, you would just keep it on like one hour and if you want like less of a dark result and then it says for best results leave on the skin for a minimum of three hours which is exactly what we're gonna do it's definitely gonna be a minimum of three hours it'll be probably like ten hours ish so yeah anyways that's all I have to say about it the other thing that I want to mention that I love about this self tanner is the packaging i love how all the self tanners like the color on the top shows what it is like this is blue so you know it's sapphire caramel is like an orangey so you know it's caramel and same goes for the other ones so i love that i love that it's not round that you can like lay it down like this and it won't roll away from you and i love that the top locks and unlocks so that you're not like accidentally losing the cap and then squirting product out everywhere it can like leak out a little bit from the top but it's not messy at all like it stays inside of there do want to point that out but i love this so anyways i'm not putting self tanner on my face this time i didn't do it last time either just because my nose is still sensitive when i touch it so the only thing i've been doing is putting moisturizer and sunscreen on it to protect it but i have not been putting any other kind of product on my nose and i kind of want to keep it that way for just a little bit longer because like i said it is a little bit sensitive so just bear with me on that you guys like i don't want to put any self tanner on my face and then like not put any on my nose or like put it on my nose and then i have to like take it off and it hurts or something like that so i'm not going to do it on my face this time but i am of course doing my body with the Bondi Sand Self Tanner. So we can get started and then we will talk details once we're done applying. Okay, you guys, it is applied everywhere I wanted to show, and I am pleasantly surprised with the undertone of this right now. First of all, I was not expecting the color guard to be this dark. I feel like last week, the emerald one, or not last week, the week before, the emerald one seemed a little bit lighter than the sapphire which is so surprising because this one doesn't say it's supposed to get super dark so i'm pleasantly surprised like i really love the amount of color that is coming off of this and i feel like a lot of times you can determine whether a self tanner is going to give you good color just based off of how much color the color guard gives you i feel like it's not true every time but a lot of times it is so i do like this a lot i feel like it definitely is a cooler tone so far than the others, but it's not anything like 
too too much you know like I'm still kind of liking how this looks and I still feel like it looks very natural like I could go out in public like this and I wouldn't feel like weird about it because it looks very natural like it's my skin so super super nice feels good it's not the most quick drying but it's not super slow either just like with the other ones I feel like in this area it does stay a little bit sticky so just wait for that to dry before you do anything crazy uh, but other than that feels good so quick and easy to apply so smooth going on it's not streaky it's not patchy nothing like that it went on very evenly and it's just overall very very good just like the others i'm super super happy with this right now and i'm a little nervous i'm like kind of scared to love this too much because i'm not a cool tone kind of person but right now i'm really liking this so we will see what happens tomorrow I'm gonna go sleep on this right now, and then once I wake up, I will wash it off, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final result. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm back, and obviously you can tell by the big smile on my face that I'm obsessed, and I didn't expect anything less because the other three self-tanners that I tried totally blew me away, so I was fully expecting to love this one too, and I do. And I don't even love cool tones on myself, but I am feeling so good and so confident with this self tanner on right now. Like just look at how beautiful this looks. And the thing that I really wanna say is how shocked I am at how much color this actually got me because on the website, it specifically said that this is for like more like pale skin tones that want like a little natural color. And I did get some feedback from people saying that this one didn't get them like too much color, but I am shocked. Like, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I feel like I got color from this. Like, I really feel like I got a good tan. It's not ultra dark or anything like that, but I would call this like a medium or a medium leaning too dark a little bit because I feel like like I said I got really good color you guys let me know if I'm going crazy or if you agree because I am loving what I see right now the undertone too I was like I said not expecting to love it but I absolutely love it like I really am feeling this cool tone on myself and I never thought I would say that, but I think I'm gonna continue using this like crazy because I really love how my self tan looks right now. This one looks so extremely natural. Like I feel like you would never be able to tell that this is a fake tan, especially because I did a good job on washing my hands at the right time. So it looks very much like a natural tan and like I've just been out laying out in the sun and this is what I got out of it. So I am so here for this. I am obsessed, so comfortable throughout the night. Again, my fiance with the smell, but it's fine. To me, it was subtle. Wore super comfortably throughout the night. Woke up, washed it off, and here we are. Like, I got a lot of color. Maybe the people that are saying it didn't give them a lot of color only wore it for like, like an hour, two, three hours. I'm wondering if that's why, because I personally wore this overnight and I feel like I got really, really good color from it. So this is gonna be tough, you guys. Like, I'm gonna have to do a video swatching all four of them somehow to like see the difference and show you guys the difference all right next to each other so we could compare and maybe I'll do it like the right way like the express self tan way like keep them on for three hours or something and then wash off and compare because I'm very curious but so far I absolutely love all four and I am so in love and so excited about this one so I guess I saved a really, really good one for last. I was expecting this to be my least favorite of the four and now I really am so confused because I absolutely love how this looks. Like just look at my tan. I am feeling myself right now, you guys. This is a huge, huge yes. And again, I can tell you if this is like the other three, it's going to wear and fade so beautifully throughout the week. So I already know that that is gonna be good but everything about this is a big yes. No streaks, no patches, just so natural and such good color. So 
it is worth it if you ask me but that is it for today so i hope you guys enjoyed comment and let me know what you guys think about it if you love it if you don't love it let me know what other self tanners you want me to try i am always happy when you guys give me suggestions so let me know like this for me and please please subscribe to the channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video